Subscribe to the channel. This is Kimi. Welcome back. Welcome back. Y'all see the picture? You know? You know how they come with that friendly smile and then they knife you in the back. Got a lot of them, don't we? Come with that mask on, like, man, everything is Gucci. Well, let me just bring this story up. I know you got her, you know, you got this, you, you got a neighborhood. Everybody lives in a neighborhood, you know. <laughs> and they always got that neighborhood, you know what I'm saying, snakester, you know. Got a bunch of them, really. I remember this uh, get together, you know. So you know me, I don't like using names on these motherfuckers. I don't be lying about the stories. I don't use names, and you know, I try to just switch up a little bit because you know, some people were incarcerated, some people da da da. But I remember this story though. Uh, this nigga life, we gonna call him Yellow. This nigga yellow. I mean, cool nigga. <laughs> Wore a mask, pretty much. He would show up at all the events. He was cool, man. He was like a, he was like a neighborhood guy. I guess we would, we would have called him a homie, a friend, you know. Long story short, though, man, like, I mean, he kept the mask on, you know, but I tell you about that mask, though. That mask, you know, you can't keep the image up too long. Just like when you're fake, you can't keep the image up. People, it's going to come out of you. If you're a faggot, it's going to come out. Whatever image you try to hide, it reveals itself. Anyway, man, yellow man. <clears throat> he came to one to get togethers like always. Brought the equipment, you know, like he was a DJ doing his thing thing. All of a sudden, man, you know what I'm saying? This is when your, you know, gut feeling come in. I'm like, man, this nigga acting real funny though tonight though. Like he kept looking around and and this is what I tell you about, you know, you always gotta make sure that when you out in society, man, it's, it's military mode, man. <laughs> Nigga, they told me I, I'm, I'm military when I sleep. So, you know, let that tell you something, though. This nigga yellow had an agenda. See, one of the head dogs was going to be at the party that night, man. You feel me? We just had like little get-together parties. Gambling, you know what I'm saying? We still, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, the little after hours. And we youngsters too, like we like 16, 17, you know, getting it. This nigga, man, he been rocking with us seven months. And the whole time he was just trying to stick up. So what happened was he had a couple niggas trying to pop up. First of all, Security's tight. We got camera, man. So we goody. Got the camera up. CTV. You know. Long story short, though, this nigga, uh, I had him pull up in the back. I already knew something was fishy. So what I did was, I said, man, go out in the back, man, and see what's goody. And when he went out in the back, I checked on the camera. I'm watching him. And I'm seeing him. And I'm seeing the two niggas. I see one, you know, uh, he's looking around. And the other one looked like he pulled out a gun. It was going down. The nigga was trying to set me up. Now, I'm going to tell you something, though. Educational purpose. That nigga was rocking with me. And that's what I'll be trying to tell you, though. Snakes, nigga. They will rock with you. They will, it doesn't matter how long 
You know what I'm saying? They're going to set that seed or whatever, man. They're going to whatever they got to do. And nigga, they're going to join a, a fucking religion. Nigga, they're going to they gonna join a motherfucking gang. Anything they can do to try to snake you, nigga, they're going to do it. Whole time, nigga, this nigga, you know what I'm saying? He's at the house. He's with my fam, you know? And I and I felt some type of way when the story's over. But I'm going to give you the rest of the story, though, but... I'm just giving you like glimpse on 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 how he disciplined himself too. You know, you got motherfuckers like that. Watch out for them discipline snakes, nigga. Like, I mean, nigga, they would go all the way and beyond to get, you know, saying mission accomplished. That's what they'll do. And if you're not aware. And if you just, you know, saying hyphy and you just out there not looking and you just like taking everything, you know, saying for what it is and and you just, you know, your gut feeling, you just, you're not normalizing that. You just like, ah, I must be hungry. <laughs> like niggas, just, nigga, nah, nigga, that's your gut telling you, nigga, that nigga, this place about to get shot up tonight. And your new name is going to be Shredded Cheese. Man, <laughs> I must have hit the red button, man. We had like an alarm system, though, right? I hit that motherfucker like I, 20 of my cousins come up in there. Because, like, nigga, it was like a, it was, it was, that's what it was. It was like a boom, boom, after hours, nigga. And it was ran by, like, really, like, my, <laughs> the family, nigga. Nigga, we surrounded that, that, he couldn't even come back in. And one, once one of my, you know what I'm saying, one of my word man, because, you know, you always got the word man, you know, word man, he know everybody. He know everybody. <laughs> he know he know babies before they born. You're going to have a curl. You, yeah, you're going uh, to name your baby Lisa. That's how <laughs> the word man knows. Word man was like, nigga, hey, the nigga in the front seat, nigga, that's, hey, that's Robbie, nigga, that's such and such, nigga, I'm going to call him Robbie, nigga. Stick up kid, nigga, from such and such block, nigga, that already was doing some numbers around the neighborhood anyway, though. Long story short, though, we took care of that problem. But see, check this out, though. Before I get off here, subscribe to the channel. This is Key Me. Appreciate you listening to my story. But what if I was, I was just... Not looking, not, you know what I'm saying, not on my radar. I guess I wouldn't be here telling you this story, right?